Hi everyone, it's Vince here. Today we're reviewing Golf Cash. Now, Golf Cash is a money making application that allows you guys out there to literally earn PayPal currency just by playing golf. Now, that's what the advertisements say. On today's video, I'll be showing you exactly how you can actually earn PayPal currency with Golf Cash and what you can expect if you are to play it. I do hope you enjoy. Let's kick this off. The whole concept of Golf Cash is extremely straightforward. All you do is literally control a tiny little golf ball around a golf course that is filled with hazards. Now, these hazards though can be destroyed, but in general, I try to avoid them as much as I can because at the end of the day, I wanna try and get to the end of the course with the smallest amount of strokes possible. So in golf, obviously, the faster you get to the end of that course with the less amount of strokes, the better you do. And on Golf Cash, they do have a limit on how many strokes you can actually have per course. So yes, guys, you cannot really just go ahead and carelessly hit your ball around and expect to actually earn money. You will have to try and do it in the least amount of time as possible. Now, it's not all doom and gloom though, because if you run out of strokes, you can buy them with the in-game coins that you earn by completing the courses in general or by actually destroying the hazards. Because I did see that if you do hit the hazards enough, they will generate coins for you once they are destroyed. Also, if you don't mind watching advertisements, you can generate around six strokes by watching an ad at the end of every course. But as I said, my main goal was to try and finish each course as fast as possible. The actual way you control your golf ball is very straightforward. There are arrows on both sides of the screen to change the camera angle. And then you literally use your finger to guide the ball and what direction you want to go at and how powerful the shot should be. It's literally just like a golf application, guys. If you've ever played any sort of gaming golf applications, you'll be right at home with Golf Cash. I just quickly wanted to say, if you're enjoying my content, please remember to hit like, comment, and subscribe. Join my free newsletter. Help me get to 100K, everyone. We're on the mission, man. Thank you very much for your support. When it comes to the actual course difficulty, it will get harder as time goes on. And what I started to realize on Golf Cash, obviously they don't want you finishing the courses extremely fast because you'll generate too many coins and too much money. So what ends up happening, in my opinion, is that the courses generally just repeat themselves and get longer and longer the more you play the application. So that means eventually you're going to run out of strokes. And then that means obviously you're going to have to watch either some advertisements or you're going to have to buy extra strokes by the in-game shop. It's completely up to you though if you actually want to buy strokes or just wait for them to regenerate over a certain period of time. So please always keep that in mind everyone. Now, I found myself buying strokes only when I really wanted to get to the next cash out value. Speaking of cash outs, I feel like now is the appropriate time we talk about exactly how you earn PayPal money on Golf Cash. Get ready because it's a bit interesting. Earning PayPal on Golf Cash is a little bit different to what you'd expect though and to what the advertisements claim. The thing about Golf Cash is that you have to earn vouchers to be able to cash out your PayPal rewards. Now you earn these PayPal rewards by completing certain courses along your journey on the application. So every like five or six courses, you'll be able to unlock a PayPal cash out. And if you have enough vouchers, you'll be able to actually withdraw that PayPal currency. But you see, the way you earn these vouchers, everyone, is by installing and playing other games. It's a very weird system to me, okay? Because I would expect a game like Golf Cash to just allow you to cash out once you've received enough in-game coins. But instead, they have the pay-to-play voucher system where pretty much you have to install various different applications on your phone, play them a certain amount of time to then earn enough of the vouchers, and then go back to Golf Cash and then activate the order with your vouchers. Now, of course, depending on your currency, the amount of money that you get per cash out is going to be completely different. I think when applications do this type of system, it really does put some people off because I know that some people install these applications just expecting to play that one application. 
they don't really like installing various other applications on their phone, whether it be just because it's a pain or because maybe they don't have enough data on their mobile plan. I've actually personally experienced running out of data by using money-making applications before. So I do understand where people are coming from. But that's the system that Golf Cash has. You have a voucher system that allows you to then cash out PayPal money. And you notice the deeper and deeper you get into Golf Cash, the more vouchers you're going to need to be able to cash out the bigger rewards. From what I've seen, the minimum reward is about 50 cents PayPal currency. And so far, I've been able to get up to around a dollar and 50 cents. Don't get me wrong though, as long as Golf Cash actually pays us, I don't really care about the system because we need more legitimate applications in 2022. Now moving on to the verification and cash out system on Golf Cash. What you will experience, I guess, again, will depend on your country. But here in Australia, all I had to do to cash out on Golf Cash was literally verify my PayPal address. Now I'm starting to see this become more of a common practice here. What I need you guys to understand is that I feel like developers are doing this just because of the fact they want to see what country your PayPal address is from. And I feel like this is a verification check to make sure you are not using a VPN. Does that make sense, everyone? Because they're not going to really be able to tell if you're using a VPN any other way unless they're looking at the apps installed on your phone. So I feel like this is their definite 100% bulletproof way to make sure that they're cashing out to legitimate people. Because VPNs are obviously banned on money-making applications or a majority of them. So that's why I feel like they do these type of verification systems. I don't like them still. Like I really don't like verifying my PayPal account just to get a few dollars. Like I feel like it's a bit extreme. My biggest fear is that what happens if a scam application does this? I'm talking about the ones that offer thousands and thousands of dollars. Let's hope to God that day never comes. But thankfully everyone, Golf Cash paid me out within one to two days straight to my PayPal account with every single request I had. And I did multiple of them just to make sure it actually did work. It only took me around three to four hours to actually earn roughly $5 worth of Australian currency. So keep that in mind. So is Golf Cash for everyone? More than likely, yes. I can't see why not. I mean, at the end of the day, it's up to you if you want to play this application or not. But I feel like for some people, it might be a little bit too extreme to install other applications to then get paid. But on the other hand, I can respect the legitimate applications. I personally enjoy Golf Cash. I think it's a great application for what it is. It does exactly what it promises to do, and that's to pay us for playing golf. Mind you though, you will have to play other games as well to earn the vouchers. Something I noticed is that Scratch Cards Pro has the exact same type of setup. So keep this in mind, these type of applications seem to be coming out in 2022. And thankfully, so far, the ones I've tested have been legit. My advice though is always keep an eye out on the reviews just to see what the general consensus is. Either way, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Catch you all in one to two days for the next Money Making Review. See you later.